This is a tale of two sisters torn apart by one man. Now, Angel was dating Brian first until Amber seduced him all the way to the altar. Her face makes me sick. It made me sick then. It makes me sick now. Brian and I were in love. I was hoping that we would spend the rest of our lives together. My sister and I were close. I spent a lot of time with her and would confide in her. Your family is supposed to be the one thing you can depend on in your time of need. You're supposed to be able to trust that they will be there for you no matter what. And while I was trusting her to be there for me, she was helping herself to my future. No one knew what they were doing until she got pregnant. Oh my gosh, it turns my stomach just even thinking about it now. No. That turned me into a monster. It pushed me over the edge and made me a really, really ugly, evil person. I laid in bed at night and I plotted people's deaths. I was this black hole of misery that just wanted to suck people in and make them just as miserable as I was. It has been seven years and she still hasn't apologized to me. Why would I want someone in my life that has no heart and has no soul and can hurt someone they love without even blinking an eye, without remorse. While Amber admits she was wrong, she says Angel's wounds are old and she just needs to move on. Brian and I were sleeping together for about a year before I got pregnant. I didn't want to tell Angel about the relationship between Brian and I. I didn't think of it as long term, but then I got pregnant. When Angel found out, she was very angry. She would threaten me. She would leave me hateful voicemails. If I see you, we're gonna fight. She's yelling and screaming at me, talking about how much it's my fault. It was my fault, okay? The last time I had a friendly conversation with Angel was before I got pregnant about seven years ago. Recently, I called her. I gave her an opportunity to apologize one that she didn't take advantage of whatsoever and proved to me once and for all how not sorry she was. I've made several attempts to apologize to Angel through text message. I even sent her a care package with homemade brownies. I put mint chips. I know that's her favorite. OK, you are hugely upset about this. Absolutely. Because if, if I get this straight, your sister started sleeping with your boyfriend with whom you had already had two children. Yes, sir. We'd been together for seven years uh, prior to the affair. And okay, we were... so you and Brian were together for seven years? Yes, sir. And you had two children? Yes, sir. Okay, and then you come in the back door and start sleeping with My her mom. significant other and father of her children? I wouldn't say I came through the back door. I would say he was the one knocking on my door. Well, hell, you answered it. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Front door, back door, down the chimney, it's still not your yes, man. Absolutely. This is your sister's man, and you started sleeping with him. Yes. For a year. Yes. And you never felt bad about it. I did feel bad. Yes, well, you I said did. it was not that big a deal. You said, we didn't think it was that big a deal. You didn't expect it to go anywhere. I didn't expect it to go anywhere, no. I didn't plan on, you know, having a relationship with him or anything like that at the time. What did, what did, you, what did you call having sex with him for a year. That was not a relationship. What was that? I mean, not like, you know, I never not thought we were going to be married and having our own family and stuff Well, of course like not, because she was already with him. Well, yeah. I was supposed to do that. <laughs> How could you think about that? I wasn't thinking about it. Uh, you weren't thinking about me I wasn't. or anybody else when you did that. I think no, I you wasn't. you were thinking about yourself. I was. I was being very selfish at the time. You what? I was very selfish at the time, yeah. I at was 20 time? years old.